Well, we were er erratic, but showed signs of being good, but very erratic, typical of my teams early in the year. And uh, we'll, get, we'll get better. How is that for briefness? I got to get up early in the morning. You say you showed signs of being good? What, yeah, I thought we showed good? signs. Anything you can point to? Well, I mean, we, we spurred it a couple times and really, you know, we showed, showed we can pressure people. We could turn people over. Shot it good in spurts. Made some great passes in spurts, and then we kind of hit home. We were home run strikeout hitters. I thought Q was a home run or a strikeout. I thought Harney was a home run or a strikeout. You know, we turned the ball over too much, but we could fix a lot of the issues we had. Got tired, I thought. I thought when we were fresh and our energy level was good, we were really good. And then when our energy level waned, we were not very good. We need to play the young big kids, but I, I decided before the game that I was I was going to use my older guys tonight and make sure we got a win because we've lost so many games early in the season. I'm getting sick of it. So psychologically, I was impaired, so I was going to play those older guys. Is that why Johnson didn't play? Yeah, I just decided I was going. To, I, I decided I was going to give Kretzer Johnson's minutes, right, and Quan's minutes, and only play him if I if we had foul trouble. But we should. I wanted to play him, but I wish we could have kept our lead so we could have played him a little bit because those guys are good players. But you know, I I just want to make sure that they're totally ready to play before we start playing them a lot because we need to win some of these games. Like this was a must game for us with the three games in a row on the ro on the road. We had to win this game. St. Mary's game is going to be hard. The last time we went out there, Rome had two fouls in 25 seconds. So we know it's not going to be easy out there on the West Coast. I, I think, and I could be wrong, I think we'll get not, nothing but better and better and better. But I could be wrong. Uh, you happy? I mean, obviously, turn on the side. You happy with your backcourt? I mean, I'm not thrilled with how the point position played. Like, I, I told Q, like, you can't. I mean, he made some really good plays, but then he made some really bad plays. And then uh, I thought Betancourt, you know, hit a stretch where he played really good and then he was really bad. You know, and then I thought Niles was the most consistent out of all of them. Mm -hmm. But I thought he I thought he, uh, he had foul trouble all night. But I thought he was the most consistent mm -hmm. all the way around. He still got ways to go, you know, to understand what we're doing, but more consistent than the others. Not happy with his free throw shooting, but we got a lot of work to do, special situation wise. We're not quite ready. There must have been an important phone call. <laughs> a little extra importance, Coach, considering this was one of the few losses you guys had last year, and again with Nick and tree not playing in this game last year. I know they took it a little bit personally. And was it for you guys as a team a more important victory because it was almost a revenge factor? I don't think so. I mean, we, we needed to – I thought the crowd was really good, so we needed to come out and at least play with some excitement, you know, with – you know, with uh, – so that people come back. You know, we, we, played, we played good in spurts. You know, we turned them over. We got our hands on a lot of balls. But then on other spurts, we just we just didn't have it. You know, we missed Zeke at the rim. You can see that. You know, I thought we got a little bit tired. And we played more small than I really want to play. That's why I want those young kids to play. I want to stay a little bit bigger. But tonight, I just decided, look, you know, we're just going to do what we got to do to win the game. And then we'll worry. You know, we got that big block where we don't play. So I'm going to get those guys ready to play so we can play bigger. Tree, you said last week. You were going to win this game. You, you, you guys, well, you and Nick especially, not being able to play in this game last year. Play a little bit of chip on your shoulders, please. Uh, I mean, absolutely. We lost to these guys last year. I mean, it was rainy night tonight. We didn't want to come out uh, opening night and have a loss. We wanted to start the season off the right way. And, uh, hopefully, we can continue continue progressing from here. Quincy, we asked you last week about getting on the court for the first time. That was an exhibition. Tonight was the real thing. I really couldn't tell how I was going to play against last week. I mean, 
this week was a good test for me to see where I was, and I think I need to improve. I had too many turnovers, but uh, I think I can get better soon. <coughs> so today was a good test for me to see where I was, and I know where I am now. It was a good test, period. But how much further do you guys think you have to go, given that you had two 20-point-plus leads at different points of the game? And they, they came back on you twice to make it interesting. Uh, I think we got to learn how to finish as a team. And Coach KD told us, like, uh, we got nonchalant at the end and let him back in the game. And we did get up. He said we should have brought this team out by 25. So we just got to get better at controlling the ball and, and not having less turnovers. Coach, you mentioned that you Not at all. I mean, we've been have we had a whole preseason. I mean, uh, a lot of extra practice this year playing with Autumn. So I mean, we we've already made our adjustments and things like that to play with Autumn. So we ready to play with Autumn. Do you think you're as? It seemed like you the athleticism was. Do you think that's just as good or better than what you had before? You know what I mean? Uh, I feel like yeah, we we were way more athletic than we were last year. Uh, at every position, especially having Q back, that's another dynamic that we didn't have last year. And um, just everybody, just all around the board, we, we're real athletic. Now, what do you get to, I mean, you guys get to play at 3 a.m. I mean, how different is that for you guys? And how are you going to prepare for that as players? Oh, I'm excited. Uh, I mean, the time difference don't make a difference to me. Uh, I live on the, the mid, yeah, Central Coast, so I'm not, time's not, I'm not worried about the time. I'm not worried about the time at all. Just get out there, adjust to the time schedule, and just be ready to play. I don't care if we play at 5 o'clock in the morning. I'll be ready.